In today's video, I will show you how to turn a simple and ordinary image like this one into a beautiful fine art image that you can proudly print and hang in your home. So we begin by opening up our image and the first thing that we want to do is remove all the subjects or figures from our background. So I'm going to choose the object selection tool which will create a quick selection around my subject as well as the reflection. I right click now to choose the feathering selection and change the radius to 4. Hit OK. I now want to copy and paste it into a new layer. Okay, moving on to our second figure that we want to remove. And I'm going to create the exact same steps as I did with the first figure, making sure that each of those figures have their own new layers. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring back all of those figures once we have worked on the background and blurred it. Okay, so I've grouped them, put them all in one group just to make my job easier. So now I want to duplicate my background layer because that is the layer that we're going to be blurring. And next we are going to select the patch tool and remove all the figures from this layer. So just make a selection around the figure and the reflection and move it Okay, we need to make sure that we are working on the background copy layer. Turn off the group layer so that we can actually see the effects being implemented. And just, you know, drag it to the side. Don't worry too much about the imperfections that are happening because that's all going to um, disappear once we, once we add the blur effect. So again, select around the figure as well as the reflection and move that to the side and don't worry too much about the imperfections and now go to filter blur motion blur and make sure your angle is at zero and drag it all the way to the end to blur it completely and turn back the group layer and now you can see the figures all the figures that we removed and masked earlier are now back on. So now what I want to do is clean up the reflection area. So I'm going to click on the first figure and choose my gradient tool. Make sure it's on black and white. Hit OK and create a layer mask. And inside the layer mask, I'm going to be using the gradient tool to fade away the reflection. Now choose a brush and just clean up the areas that don't look good because you do want it to blend in and look as natural as possible. Okay, that's looking good. Now, once we do that, we're going to create the same thing for every figure, create a layer mask for each of the other two figures and just do the same thing by cleaning up all the messy areas to make sure that it blends in nicely and looks nice and clean. Okay, onto the third figure and just, I mean, you can use either the gradient tool or just the brush and remove all the imperfections that you don't want. There's always many different ways of doing that. So for this one, I'm just going to use my brush, make sure it's on white, uh, sorry, on black, um, nice soft brush. Now that we've completed working on the background, we're going to change the overall tones of my image. So I'm going to create a sunset feel and what I'm going to do is create a new layer, choose the gradient tool and the first part that I want to work on is the sand area. So I'm going to choose a tone that's similar to the sand color and make sure that linear gradient is chosen and now click and drag from the bottom to the top to where the sand area finishes. Yep, that's looking good. And now rename it to sand. Now create another layer. And this is gonna be the ocean layer. And we're gonna choose a blue tone so that it would give us that nice uh, bluish tone. 
But for this step, I'm going to change the gradient into the reflected gradient because I just want it to be implemented on the uh, ocean area. So now I'm just moving it up and I will change the blending mode as I want it to blend in nicely. And I'll change the blending mode for the sand area as well. Okay, reduce opacity. Now create a new layer and this layer is going to be the sky. And I'll create another layer and this one will be the horizon and I'm putting that, placing that under the sky layer. So for this layer, I want to create a, an orangey feel, which is what you see on the horizon. So it's just like a small little line. Make sure you pick a nice orange, deep orange color. I think that's going to look nice. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, uh, maybe a bit smaller. Just reduce the opacity. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm just moving that up because I want it to sit exactly on the horizon line. Now right click on this layer to get the selection transform selection tool to just transform it and stretch it out a bit. Now change the blending mode and just see what works. Yep, reduce opacity and that looks good so back onto the sky layer we're going to do the same thing gradient and we're going to choose a blue tone maybe a dark blue let's see how that works mm, that's a bit too dark don't like it again uh, probably a lighter blue this time and see how that works reduce the opacity and maybe stretch it a bit longer yeah that looks good change the blending mode So continue to change the blending modes. Um, in this section, there's no right or wrong what to do with the tones because it, you just want to make sure that it works nicely for your image and for the, over, uh, the overall look that you're trying to achieve. So I'm just going to create a layer mask on the ocean layer as I want to um, reduce the tone on the horizon section as I want the horizon to stand out a bit more and a bit on the sand area. So now I'll select all of my tones layers and group them. I will rename that sunset tones and we can always return back to these layers and adjust them as we like. So now I'm going to create a layer mask on this group. Actually I'll go onto my subjects groups and I'll click on the first figure inside the layer while holding onto the shift key or command on Mac and then go onto the layer mask as what we want to do is remove the tones of the figures. Um, just go back to the layer mask that's been created onto the sunset tones because that's where we want to remove the tones of the figures. And just brush on that with a black brush at 100%. And then again, go back to the subjects group and click on the second figure also while holding the shift key or command and then going back onto the layer mask onto on the sunset group to remove the tones that we have just added as we don't want them to be visible on our figures. We want our figures to just have that dark um, silhouette as the tones should be in front of the figures, not behind them. So the effect shouldn't take place on the figures. All right, so now we're cleaning it up. Uh, just going back onto my figures and I can see some inconsistencies and I'm just going to quickly clean that up to give it those nice sharp edges. I mean that doesn't really matter because once we, uh, I mean we can only see it now because it's very zoomed in but once we zoom out you can't really see all of those. Um, little imperfections unless you obviously want to print out your image then you do want to make sure that you give it a nice uh, clean overall look okay just work on the reflection on the first figure and just mask some of the areas around him I now want to work on the overall tones of the image and I'm going to 
choose a new adjustment layer, a color balance adjustment layer, and just work my way around it until I'm happy with the overall tone. So just go onto all three panels of the color balance and see what works. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to create another adjustment layer, a hue and saturation, and just work on the individual colors of on the image and just change the overall tone of those parts separately. So let's take a look at the image before we added all of the special effects and see what it looked like originally and after adding all those enhancements. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to rename that sun as I'm going to create the sunset. Uh, with a nice big round white brush, I'm going to click in the middle of my image and then I'm going to gently enlarge the brush and just keep clicking until I'm happy with the way it looks and with the reflection. Just reduce the opacity and change the blending mode so that it looks natural. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to create another layer and create a bigger reflection, bigger light for the sun. And just click on my image gently and also reduce the opacity and change the blending mode until it blends in nicely. Now I'm going to go back to my sun layer and with a small brush, I'm going to Reduce the opacity and just paint over the horizon line just to give it that glowy reflection. So the image is looking good so far, but what I'm going to do is continue with readjusting the overall tones of the image. So going back onto my color balance adjustment layer and hue saturation, I'm just going to continue to work around it until I'm happy with the final overall tones of each part of the image. I'll now add a new levels adjustment layer as I want to bring out and enhance the, um, the highlights and the shadows of my image just to brighten up certain areas and enhance the shadows as well. That's looking good. Okay, reduce the opacity. Yeah, that's nice. Now that I'm looking at the sky, I feel like it's missing something. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to choose a nice light pink color as normally when we look at the sunset we notice that the sky will have some hint of pink or indigo so I want to just give it that natural beautiful sunset look maybe enhance the horizon I feel like it looks better that way so I'm just going to continue to adjust certain parts of the image and I'm working on the sky layers. I'm duplicating that and trying to blend it in so it will give it more of a natural sunset look. I'm also going to work on the ocean layer and I'm going to du duplicate that just to enhance it a bit more. And now I'm just going to continue to make my final adjustments as the image is almost done. Okay, so now I'm happy with the way the image looks and I'm going to do the final step, which is the sharpening. I'm going to create a stamp visible layer, which is a stack of all the layers that we've just worked on and created. Then I'll go to filter, sharpen and unsharp mask to give the image a nice and crisp, clean look. It looks great. Now one final step which is adjusting the brightness and contrast. I always do that right at the end of my working flow. So that's looking nice. The colors are vivid, yes and bright in certain areas. Now that we've completed editing this image, I can say that I'm very pleased with the overall look. And let's take a look at what it looked like originally. So as you can see, this is the original image, quite boring, quite dull, nothing special about it. A very simple and ordinary holiday snapshot, but with very simple and easy steps, we were able to transform it 
from this to a beautiful fine art image that you can proudly print and hang in your home for all your family and friends to see. You can basically add these techniques to any of the images that you've taken previously that you didn't think look any good and just transform them and make them look amazing. As I've done here in other images that I've taken from the same holiday. As you can see, this is a very dull image. Again, nothing special about it. So what I've done is I've added the motion blur. I've actually added two motion blur filters, one that's horizontal for the bottom half of the image. And for the sky and the ocean, I've added a vertical uh, motion blur just to give it that, you know, different effect for the different movements in the image that are happening. And here's one last image with the same motion blur effect. With this one, I've decided to make it look a bit different. So I selected the sky area and I gave it a diagonal motion blur. As for the ocean and the rock area, I've created a horizontal motion blur. I've also worked on the overall tones of the image. And lastly, I've brightened the right side of the image and also converted it to black and white just to see what it looks like. And this concludes my video for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next time.